If you've been here before, you probably know my journey, my house journey, but if we have not met, hi, Kelsey, nice to meet you, and this is basically all you need to know. I've lived in my home for just about three years, and I was basically done making it over once I got to finishing the kitchen, but when my partner moved in, we took over the upstairs apartment in order to have more space and a home office. So that means I'm a little less close to being done making over every space in my home, but it does mean more spaces for me to design and more videos for you to watch. Today I wanna to look at some of the spaces in my home that I can add function, personality, and design to. This includes the upstairs media room, the downstairs laundry room, and the upstairs bathroom. While seeing if I can do this with the help of some latest tech. But hold up, I need a little disclaimer here, especially when it comes to AI. First of all, if you have any tips, tools, AI or not that help you with designing your own space. I would love us to all share them in the comments down below and just have the comments be a resource of like different programs and apps that can help with design because there are like actually too many available um, that it's very overwhelming. Secondly, although we're so early in the world of AI, like if AI was a car, this is the stage we'd be at. And side note, I just need to share some um, AI generated images that I tried to create to show the wheel as a cave woman and it kind of worked but it kind of didn't but none of them worked as well as me just literally drawing this wheel but this is the stage of AI that I think we're at and for better or worse I do think it's here to stay and it's only gonna evolve from this point on. So that being said I have chosen my three different rooms and three different tasks of design that I'm gonna try to tackle starting with floor plans. I have the measure app open and um, let's just see if it works. The first step to any floor plan is measuring the space and although AI can't help me with this, AR, augmented reality, can. This app is already loaded on your phone if you have an iPhone and I've used it before but I wasn't really sure how accurate it was. Wow. It was off by like maybe an inch, if that. Okay. It was right again. So I'm just jotting down dimensions on a floor plan that I'm drawing out that is not to scale. My hope is that when I upload this to AI, AI can put this on a grid, make the lines perfectly straight and 90 degrees, and make it to scale. After finishing the floor plan with the correct dimensions, it was time to start actually using AI. I took a picture of the floor plan to upload to Midjourney, which is one of the most popular websites for AI image creation. To access Midjourney, I actually need to use Discord, which speaking of, we have our own server. And if you wanna join that, the invite link is in the description down below. So here's where we have to put in a prompt and then it generates an image based on that. This is actually a test image I did of a retro futuristic living room on a spaceship. And I did it because I was looking for inspo for a future video I am working on. So make sure that you're subscribed if you wanna see me design a spaceship. You can also use your own image as part of a prompt so that it can generate an image based on that. So I'm gonna use my own image as a prompt for the space and it just takes a little bit of time to render it out. Uh, and I do not think these are the results we are looking for. Bruh. With AI, the trickiest thing is getting the prompt correct. So I'm gonna try writing out a different prompt to try to get the results that I'm looking for. Okay, still, this is not looking so good, but at least it's doing an overhead floor plan this time. But none of this furniture is actually in my room that I uploaded, so I do not know where it's pulling this from. Literally, not even close. Let's try one more time with a different prompt. Maybe it likes the word blueprint over floor plan, so hopefully this gives it the right idea. Oh no, it's, it's literally just blue. Honestly, this is kind of amazing that it was able to do an overhead floor plan but also show things like from the front. Kind of impressive, but we're way off. I think I need to try something else. Maybe the AI prefers metric. So in order to make things easier for the AI, I drew a very simplified room using metric measurements. I wonder if something as particular as the type of measurement is throwing the AI off. 
And I would say this is the worst result we've gotten so far. What is this? Okay, so after spending a lot of time researching and trying different prompts, I was not getting any closer. Okay, so in the end, I was able to make this floor plan myself very quickly and easily, and it has all the layers I need in order to keep working on this room makeover. But right now, let's tackle mood boards, starting with this bathroom. So for this space, I designed it to a sense. I mean, this is what it used to look like before there was a clawfoot tub in here that I moved downstairs. It was crowded and didn't really function well. So I do think that this new layout functions better um, and the tile is really nice and updated, but I do think it's lacking a little bit of personality. I also don't have any backslash behind the sink, which was a little bit of an oversight. It's always best to have like something on your wall, whether it's just even a durable paint on your wall, backsplash, stick on tile, if it's, you know, a rental or a temporary situation. Something that's gonna protect your walls a little bit from any toothpaste splatter or just any messes. So personality as well as a little bit of functionality in here is something that I do wanna fix. So for example, let's in Mid Journey try Mood board, a small bathroom with white hex, with white hex floor tile and the style of maximum. This is the interesting thing about AI is like, it, in some ways it's giving you mood board because with white hex tile, wow, it really just, okay, okay. This is sick, but this is not what we're looking for. This is not what we're looking for. I'm gonna try something a little different. I think I got too confused. Let's just say room mood board for, what is that? Mood board based on tropical print wallpaper in a bathroom inspired by Maximus. That seems convoluted, but it's similar to a prompt I saw online that somebody else used. I think that also the other thing with AI is just like I can see a prompt that somebody else uses and it won't be the same, I won't get the same outcome if I use that prompt. I'm not understanding why it's not getting the mood board thing down. I mean this is cool, that's really fun. And like in some ways this is a mood board, like this doesn't look like a real bathroom if you know what I mean. It is very much like a collection of things. So in some ways it's a mood board. It's just not your typical one where it kind of has a bunch of individual elements. This is cool though. Midjourney's doing okay at this task, but I do know that there is a prompt called Blend. And that's where I can upload images. So for example, let's upload an image of this bathroom. I'm gonna upload a picture of not the tile because I can't really change that anyways about the space. And then let's try an image from my Pinterest board. Let's see. Ooh. I like this bathroom and I like that it's not too far off from what I have here. Let's upload this example to Mid Journey and see what it comes back with once we blend them together. I should do like push-ups in between each prompt. <laughs> Just make use of this time here. Okay, what I can already tell is that the layout they've kind of kept as my bathroom, which I find very interesting. Okay, I mean, I gotta say this is really cool because isn't, doesn't this look like a version of my bathroom but just in like a different reality? I will say we lost some of the fun aspects of the other bathroom like the green tile and stuff. I love all the different versions of that rug though. That is a cool rug and I can definitely see that rug being in here. Get maybe a vintage one that looks like that. Okay, let's try the blend prompt again with another bathroom image. Okay, for example, this, I think it really kept some of the color and the greenery, but we're still keeping my same kind of vanity fixture. It looks very similar to that. And again, the rug is, is I think along the same line. So maybe this is a good inspo for me as far as what to do with the rug. I will say, I think that it's somewhat successful at creating room mood boards when we were looking at those kind of like bathtubs there's some good inspiration there um but this blend feature when paired with your inspo picture as well as your original picture i think 
can be kind of helpful on how to imagine what your space will look like. Ultimately, I do have my own ideas of what I want this space to be, and it would be great if I could use the AI to bring that vision to life. But I just don't think it's good at taking specifics. Again, in the end, this is a task I can do myself and thoughtfully include every element that I was hoping to have in this space. This took me about 30 minutes to assemble everything. Next up, let's see if we can do more blending and mood boarding in the laundry room. So for this space, I have a relatively clear idea of what I'm looking for. I definitely need more storage. I want a potentially wood tabletop to go across the machines just so that I have a nice flat work surface. Shelving in behind. And I also need an easy way to cover up all of the like electrical and gas lines and water lines that I have going on back there, but not cover it up permanently because it is like essentially a utility room that I might need to access for routine maintenance. So that had me thinking about when we did a laundry room makeover and we used the like faux tin tile sheets. Not only do I think that'll work functionally, but I also think aesthetically I like that kind of vintage style, especially just in this laundry room area. I like to lean into that style of my home. Um, it is 100 years old, so I like to showcase that in some way. And these tin tiles are definitely something that you would see 100 years ago. So one of the ways I want to be able to render this image and visualize it is to actually blend a picture of my laundry room here as well as a laundry room that we did um, just a year and a bit ago with that tin tile and it has the wood top as well. This is definitely not an easy space and if you guys have any tips of what I should maybe do here, please let me know. But just know that there's like a lot to access in behind everything so I can't I feel like I can't really build anything that's like too permanent sometimes I don't want to look because I just want to be surprised <laughs> it's like it blends the photos but it really does pull its own inspiration wow like all these extra cords and stuff it's so interesting only kind of like one of the they have, they have texture in the background but they're not the true tin not gonna lie I'm not blown away by this render I don't think it's accurate and it's not really aesthetic either. After playing around for another hour, I actually came up with some pretty okay mood boards for the laundry room. My prompt was mood board for laundry closet inspired by vintage industrial design. And this looks more like a typical mood board and they aren't that far off from my vision displayed on a mood board here. There's still lots of elements that I didn't choose to include, like I don't need faucets, but overall there's some interesting thoughts and dare I say, a success okay so ultimately we are seeing some interesting results using mid journey but I'm definitely not getting exactly what I'm envisioning it's not taking my thoughts and vision so now I'm back in the media living room it's basically actually kind of Elliot's space um, lots of music stuff in here his gaming setup so I only have like some say in this room, but I do have a lot of say. Okay, <laughs> I'm lying, I'm lying, I got some say. So what I wanna do to be able to render ideas for this room is I obviously have some thoughts already. I will share those with you, but there are a few programs that I've seen that are really good at showing you different uh, styles of a space. And this is not using Mid Journey AI, but instead using kind of like specific interior design apps. So I'm gonna start playing around with those and I'll let you know when I found one that I think works well and we'll see what it can do. First up, we have Visualize AI, which I really like because you can choose the type of render style, also the room, and you can actually input the style of the room, like mid-century modern, stuff like that, which I find very helpful to give it some kind of focus, whereas mid-journey can kind of get a little lost sometimes when it comes to style. When the render was complete, the angle was really good. It did really just kind of impose the style over the image, but it didn't necessarily change the layout. And I'm not loving this gray color palette. It does not scream vintage to me at all. Okay, let's try another render, maybe closer to the mid-century modern style. And I'm gonna give it some additional instructions because I really do want a wall of green curtains in this space 
and to add a paper pendant like the Akari lamps. Okay, but this prompt just ended up confusing it. And we have a green floor and a green wall. Okay, on to the next app. Another one that I had some success with is Spacely AI. Here you can pick the type of room, which I think helps with focusing the AI on exactly what you're looking for in the space. And then the styles here aren't as diverse as visualized, but there are some cool options like Y2K and uh, space. I would say the best thing about Spacely AI is that you have this slider that you can switch between your room and the AI render. It really gives you contrast to see what elements could be changed in the room makeover in the end. This one did have some trouble picking out some of the exact details in the space, like the door. And again, I'm gonna try to give it some focus because I really do want green curtains here. So let's see if it trips up Spacely AI like it did visualize. Okay, we kind of got the pendant, but the rest of the space is now looking very confused and there's more windows than there actually are in here and the green curtains are not where I need them to be. While this was fun to play around with, I do have one last idea on how I can achieve the look I am looking for. So far, I'm kind of liking this Visualize AI, Visualize with a Z. I think there's another one with an S. I'm out of my like three free credits, so now I'm gonna have to pay for it. And Spacely seems like you don't have to pay for it. And the renders are pretty cool, but it's still not getting it. Like I wanted green curtains and they just did like, they took out the TV and added a window and put in green curtains. So, Again, pretty impressive that they can identify that like all the parameters of the room and like where the couch is. Like kind of cool, but is it helpful at all? Honestly, no. So I've been playing around with this for clearly days. And although it's really interesting, there's a lot of cool things that we can do with this. I'm not getting exactly all of the results that I want, but I have learned a few things. And even for example, I just rendered a black ceiling medallion with a light fixture. I asked for a contemporary light fixture. It didn't really show me that. But this is cool because then I can then use this and add it to my mood board of something I totally made up that hopefully I can find as inspiration when I'm shopping. That being said, there is one other task that I want to try. So I took a bunch of different elements that I know that I want in this room and I kind of very, very roughly stitched them together and placed them onto my original photograph. I'm wondering if I upload this to something like Mid Journey or any of these AI apps, if it can pop me out kind of like a better rendered version of this. It still means that I need to do the work to like know what I want and put it in the image, but maybe it can render it because that's something I'm not skilled at. For example, in this room, I know I want a new coffee table. I'm really loving the idea of like wall to wall, like olive green curtains. Ever since I went to this like sauna, spa, meditation place in Toronto with Rachel and Becky, um, there was a paper lantern, kind of like the Akari lights and this, the glow it gave off, I absolutely loved. After seeing that and having a paper lantern in my bedroom, I just love the light that paper lanterns give off. It gives off such a nice look and feeling. So I would love to have one of those in this space. Under the TV, I think it'd be really sweet to do a wood kind of floating TV bench and have the TV mounted. So anyways, let's see what happens if we pop this in to our program. I mean, it didn't do what I wanted, <laughs> but it gave me olive green curtains. Also, I love how the TV's behind the couch on this photo. <laughs> we tried guys, we tried. So with the help of AI or not, I hope you guys got a good idea of what I'm dreaming for these rooms that are still left to do in my home. If you guys have any other tips as far as programs or prompts for AI to get us get it to help us with interior design, let me know. But right now, the best tool I got is my imagination and maybe Procreate. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna make sure you, that you don't miss out on those makeovers that will be coming soon, this year definitely, make sure you are subscribed and I will see you next time.
Okay, so the contractors have started reassembling the upstairs unit after the demo that happened. It's just like very frustrating to me. I just want to buy an appliance. I don't want to get ripped off. Wire cutters, but they're down there. Oh my god, they're not even down there. They're in the room. First time in the attic. Will there be raccoons? <laughs> 